Hello folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to log in to the uh, customer section and we're going to make this inbox look nice, okay? So as you can see the action is happening at your account forward slash welcome. So I'm going to open up your account. I'm going to go to welcome, okay? Now check this out. Um, we've loaded up the template public bootstrap okay and it's loading up a view file that's called welcome your account forward slash welcome here it is and this welcome thing is calling inquiries draw customer inbox so let's follow the trail we'll go to inquiries we'll go to draw customer inbox and here we are okay now if we have a look at customer inbox, you'll see that customer inbox basically creates a table and it loops through the table and it displays all of the stuff, okay? Uh, if you'll forgive me, I'm just going to bring that in because recently I've became kind of the tidy guy, <laughs> okay? So that's what we're doing here, right? Nothing fancy nothing strange customer inbox is just a table that's basically it okay so you know what we're gonna do yes we are gonna do that stuff again so the way this works you know the story right uh, this load module site settings now if you're like me this is just a personal thing. Yes, I do like to load the modules at the top of the script if possible, you know. Um, we then say is mobile equals this site settings is mobile. And of course, we could have passed the is mobile variable into the function itself. Uh, we could go way back and do that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. It's probably a very good thing to do. But this is only going to add about maybe three hundredths of a second to the page load speed. So I'm not too worried, folks. Is that cool? Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to say if is mobile. Actually, let me just do this properly. I'm going to say view file equals customer inbox and then I'm gonna say if is mobile is equivalent to true then the view file also equals I'm adding some stuff on G underscore G Q M so then we just change this to the view file and there we go so if we hit refresh what's gonna happen you tell me, come on, I can feel your energy. People don't believe this. I have the power. Yes, it's going to have an error because it's going to try and load up the page. Correctimundo, yes, thank you very much. Congratulations. Okay, so we go into inquiries. And then we make customer inbox jqm.php. That's what we're looking for. And now the error message goes away. Okay, so the next vibe is we just need to get this thing looking nice. Okay, that's basically it. Now we have a whole bunch of JQ Query Mobile view files, and some of them look kind of nice. Um, let me just see if there's anything good here. Maybe homepage content jQuery Mobile. I think that had some cool stuff. Homepage blocks. Um, what I'm really looking for is that. That's what I'm looking for. I like the little panels and whatnot. This is from thank you underscore underscore jQuery Mobile. And um, I'm going to go with that vibe. So I'm going to chuck this in. And I'm going to say your inbox. Okay. Now it's going to say the form was. Well, who cares? We'll take this out. Okay. Okay. We'll take this out. Um, but let's just save and refresh and look at that. Already this is starting to look kind of nice. 
Now, how you make this page look is your business. You can head on to jQuery Mobile and look around, see if you can find something good. Uh, and who knows, maybe you will find something good. Uh, you know, that that's cool. Maybe you'll find something better than me. But, you know, I think in this case, I'm going to just stick with a good old-fashioned table. You know, why not? So here we go. It's going to be a table, okay? And it's going to have, let me have a think here. How about if we have maybe two table cells here, okay? So we'll have one that's going to contain an icon. You know what I mean, like a little envelope or something like that, okay? And the next table cell is going to contain the information, okay? So, to kick things off, I'm just going to do a paragraph here, and I'm going to say something like, subject goes here. And let's make that bold, shall we? Nice, bold subject, folks. And then, straight underneath this subject thing, in fact, I might as well try and get it to look kind of nice. Straight underneath here, we're going to do the date, okay? Friday 5th of November or whatever it may be. All I'm doing, folks, is just mapping it out, okay? Next, I'm going to do a little span vibe here and we'll say something like style equals font size 0.7 EM. Okay, I've got the most creaky chair ever here, I'm sorry about that. But that's, you know, kind of cool. I'm going to do some lorem ipsum stuff just for the moment and I think at some point I'm going to do those little dot vibes, you know what I'm talking about? The little dot vibes that look like this. Now, the, there's not going to be a button on this page but I am going to make the subject a link that's going to take you to view the message. Okay. Um. And that's pretty much the vibe. Now, let me do a little for loop here and we'll just see how this is going to look. I'll do uh, 10 of them, okay? I'm just figuring out how this is going to look and all I'm doing is trying to make it look nice, okay? You don't even need to do this, you know, you can try your own design. This is just HTML, folks, okay? That's all we're doing now. Yes, that's what it's came to. So here we go. That's kind of nice. Yes, I am happy. Now, the icon uh, is something that I'm going to pick up from jQuery Mobile. I've clicked on the demos.jQuery Mobile. I'm clicking on icons, and there's a bunch of icons here. Um, now, there's a thing for having a single icon on its own somewhere. Uh, let me just see. I think, yeah, icon only. Can you see that vibe? So I'm going to view source here for icon only. Click that. Thanks again to Fionn Ross for his great tip there. Uh, and then where we have this icon vibe, we are chucking in the stuff like so, okay? Now, this says delete, but you cannot actually see the text. If I save this and then refresh, watch what happens. Do you see how you cannot see the word delete? So we might as well just chuck the word open in here. I don't know, maybe there's like a, a blind guy or something and he'll find this handy. I'm not joking, by the way. I'm being quite serious. Why not? You know, chuck the word open in, right? So, that's kind of cool. In terms of the icon itself, well, I'm not going to have a delete icon. I'm going to have the mail icon here, okay? So, I'm going to refresh the screen. It's going to look like that. And I think um, the final touches I'm going to do are with this table cell here that's got all of the main content. I'm going to say style equals padding left 20 pixels. Let's just save and refresh. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I think I'll do that again, actually. Padding bottom 20 pixels. Save and refresh. And look at that. Already, you can see 
that we have the beginnings of a fantastic, glorious inbox. Now, um, this is probably a good time to talk about the icon changing colour and whatnot. The vibe is, in the normal panel, I don't know if you can remember, when something comes in and it's new, we have a little, I think it's an orange envelope or something like that. So I'm going to do a similar vibe here, and when something comes in and it's unread, well, um, what I'm going to do is head up to this icon here, and I'm going to say style equals, uh, and by the way, just so you know, if I'd say something like color red, for example, and do refresh, nothing happens. The icons with jQuery Mobile are a little bit, well, not tricky, but they just have to be handled in a slightly different way. So the way that you want to do this, folks, is you want to say background color, and we're going to go with gold, okay? And this is going to look fantastic. If we hit refresh, look at that. It is fantasticola. Now, here comes a statement that will be shocking, because actually, that is the end of the course. Congratulations. And why not, you know? Why not? Because all that's really coming in from here onwards is me going through these jQuery mobile pages and making them look nice. Now, we could go into the PHP and you know how to do this, right? I mean, come on, you know this stuff, right? Customer inbox. We could grab the PHP here, this stuff here, copy. We can paste in here. We can do all of that stuff. And I'm going to tell you something. You will learn nothing. I have confidence in you. I believe in your abilities. You've came this far. So... That is indeed the end of the training, because really there's no point, you know, all that would remain would be about maybe 15 videos of me swapping HTML code, you know, and that's that. So this is the end of the training, and thank you so much for following along, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to do one more video because it's not going to have any code in it actually, but I think that there's people who will look at video one and they'll see, you know, over a hundred videos and they'll say, man, is this really worth it? And they're probably going to look at the finished video to see what they, they get at the end of the thing. So I'm going to do one more video, but it's not going to have any more code. There's no more PHP, there's nothing. It's basically just going to be me giving a little demonstration of this shop to people who might be looking, you know, at the first video. Maybe they're thinking about this. But also, I want to say a few words about Code Igniter itself. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll say a few words about the state of the PHP community and how I see things moving forward. But in the meantime, no more training, at least no more coding from me. Thank you very much, and I hope you'll join me in that last video. <laughs>